Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have discussed about many terms of Estate Pro and I have shown you that how we will analysis and design for beam, column and also for slab. And in this video, I will show you that how we will analysis for T-beam and how we will design for that. So let's start and if you are new here, you can watch our previous video so that you can clear your concept about Estate Pro. First of all, I'll open Estate Pro. Here is the Restart Pro. Then I'll select here New Project and uh, about everything I have discussed in my previous video that's why I'll go first then I'll select her space and I will select length unit in foot and force unit in kilo pound after that I'll give her T beam you can give her any name T beam design analysis and design and here is our location directory you can select anywhere as your wish so next from here we will select add beam after that we will go finish so from here to draw T beam we have to define two column suppose we have a column of 8 feet into 8 feet and our beam length are 10 feet here every a square represent one feet is into one feet so from here we can use that like that way first click on zero then go to top here eight feet height then we'll go in that direction in x direction for our beam then again we'll go down here 10 for another point after that we'll go here snap note our beam will hide that then that is our two column with one beam so here we'll define our next phenomenon so here I will use that option view from Z plus and after that we'll provide here support so click on node select the node and go here here support page click here and click create and after that we'll provide our fixed support we know that that will be fixed support so fixed support then we can add or we can directly assign as we have selected that assign here or fixed support after fixed support we have to define materials so we'll go here property page so we'll select that our column or rectangle and after that, we'll provide her T beam. So here, define, and from here, we'll select our rectangle shape. I will select 0 0.3, 0 0.25. Sorry, suppose I'll consider 1.5 feet into 1.5 feet. 1.5 feet into 1.5 feet means. 18 inch 18 inch 18 inch column so add after that we will select T beam and um, here suppose uh, we have total height of a T beam is 18 is I mean 1.5 feet then here the web here is the web and here is the flange so the distance of dz i mean dimension of dz will consider that uh, it's uh, 4 feet i mean 48 sorry 4 feet we'll consider that from that point to that point i mean develop dz is 4 feet and yv the y beam we have considered that a total height of 
um, we can consider it's two feet total height two feet yd so from that point to that point total height of web and flange it's two feet and here yb yb means from that point to that point here that height it's we'll consider suppose we'll consider our uh, that upper portion are six inches so that will be one point one point five one point five feet so from here uh, it's a two feet and the waiver six inches so the remaining part is yb it's 1.5 i mean 18 inches and zb will consider zb uh will consider zb in suppose consider 12 inches i mean one feet so it's okay it will be concrete after that again add so close that here we have found this for our beam and this is for t beam so select on that after that from here beam cursor and select that both two column and after that select that uh, sorry after selecting that we have to select that and then assign to selected beam click on it and assign yes okay it's around around again click on here and click that and for prismatic t beam select that assign to selected beams and assign yes I'm going first of uh, course uh, I have discussed about every term in our previous video that's why I'm going fast for that so I'll close that and if I see here in 3d mode so here if we see in 3d mode here you are seeing that that is our T beam T beam with rectangle column so I'll close that after that we have to define materials property so click here property page and after that sorry not property paste load paste here load paste so here load case detail from here add first of all we'll select dead load we'll just only consider uh, for dead load so here dl and after that add close and here dl and here again add so first of all we'll select self weight minus one in y direction minus one represent the uh, self weight will work in downward direction so add again go here member load here we'll give give here suppose uh, it's a uh, five keep per feet and it will be from overall the beam that's why five keep and it should be minus five keep and it will be direction will be zi i mean global y direction the minus five means the direction are downward so add close so here is our load first of all self weight the every portion have self weight that's why we'll use assign to view and self weight then assign yes it have assigned everywhere after that we'll go here again select select click here and we'll click on that and we'll select that before that we have to select beam cursor then select the tv and select that after assign to selected beam assign yes so here is our load if we click here loads we can see that here is our load uh, on our over the t beam so in this way we have ready our materials our full structure ready after that we'll go here comment analysis perform analysis then no print after that okay and after that we'll go here analysis run analysis save structure yes so here zero error zero wiring and zero node after that go to post processing mode post processing mode then done click ok here is our structure we can see the deflection press 
control and scroll your mouse here is the deflection of our structure this is the deflection for our structure and if we close that deflection then fy here is our shear diagram for our structure this is the shear diagram after that close that and our pressure mz and here is the moment diagram for our structure this is the moment again uh, press control and scroll your mouse so from here uh, you can also was the reaction of the structure it's down so click here select text select that and up select that and up it's showing the value of y direction x direction it that's it uh, so I think uh, up to that point it is clear to you and if you think that if you have also a problem you can mail me or you can comment below and in next video I'll show you that how will design that TV so thank you thank you very much